I'm Roddy White, wide receiver Atlanta Falcons, and you're watching Stash.com. Roddy White. What's Pro happening? Bowl, wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, first off, I just want to ask you, in a short, simple terms, what is the one thing that keeps you dedicated to the game of football? Uh, just competition, you know, and uh, being good, being great. Trying to go out there and do something that nobody's ever done before. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing that keeps me motivated year in, year out. Just trying to find ways to get better. And I ain't won a Super Bowl yet, so, you know, that's the biggest thing right there, you know. You know, I strive, that's, that's what I played this game for. This when I was a kid, that's what I always wanted to do, is win a Super Bowl, so. I haven't gotten there yet, so I'm, <laughs> I'm striving right now. I'm still going. <laughs> I mean, this past year was probably our best year, statistically, individually, and as a team, you know, and you keep getting closer and closer and closer to um, reaching that plateau. What do you think is the next step that you guys need to take to really eventually take the NFC? Uh, I, I think right now, you know, with the stage we in as a football team, I think we got our core guys. We got everybody intact, you know what I'm saying? We just got to... We needed that playoff experience. You know, we needed to win in the playoffs. And now that we already got everything that we need, we just got to find a way to make the plays to get there, you know, to get to the, to the Super Bowl. So that's the biggest thing that we got to do as a team. There's nothing that we could change, you know. The, the core players are going to always be the core players. You got your stars. You got, you know, me, Matt, Julio, Tony. You know, you got the guys on defense. You know what I'm saying? Thomas the cool. You know, William Moore, we got guys that are stable, you know, that's been to Pro Bowls and things like that. But it's got to be more than that. You know, you got to be one more than, you know, just being a Pro Bowl caliber player every year. You got to want to win the big one, you know, because that's what people remember at the end of the day anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. Can I say that better myself? Um, a lot of people, you know, you're one of the most well known, well liked, you know what I mean, social plays in the NFL, you got your Roddy White TV, you're very active on Twitter, you're always on first take, hamming it up with everybody. What kind of, what, what's that, what is it inside you that kind of separates your personality from the rest of your teammates or the rest of the people, uh, plays in the NFL? I think I just kind of, I don't hold back. You, you know, don't seem I to let, take yourself that seriously. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't hold back. I kind of say whatever I want to say. You know, uh, um, I'm a realist, you know. I feel like, you know, I can't sit back and say, I'm not going to express what I really want to say just because it may turn off or it may turn on certain people or they may not like what I say because, you know, the world is what the world is, you know. And if I have an opinion about something, I'm going to state my opinion about it, you know. And um, that can come with good and the bad, but you got to be able to handle both, you know, and, and be in that situation, you know. And, um, you know, that's how I've always been ever since I've been a kid. Just go out there and just, you know, say what's on my mind and express myself and, you know, be able to take the heat that come with it. Now tell me a little about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself as a kid. Like, what was that aha moment that you knew, like, all right, I could probably get paid for doing this one day? Oh, man, about my junior year in high school, you know, and, um, you know, just growing up around everybody, in the, in, you know, where I'm from, you know, it was guys out there actually there was better athletes than me, you know, growing up. And um, they just didn't have that work ethic work and, de and dedication to the game, you know. You know, looking at my mom every day, I know I had to find a way for us to get out of that struggle. You know, that was my main goal is like, you know, you got to find something, find your niche, you know, find something that you love, you're passionate about, you know, and try to help your family, you know, get out of struggle. So that was my main thing that I wanted to do. And uh, going into my junior year, I kind of figured out, like, football is, you know, this is what I'm best at, this is what I can do. You know, this is going to be a plateau for me to get to college, and hopefully if I get to college, I can get good grades, you know, become somebody or make it to the NFL. So, you know, that was my, my turning point my junior year. Okay, all right. Now, silly question. How many times a month or a week or a day do people mistake you for Ace Hood? <laughs> That's funny, man, because, you know, Harry Douglas always make jokes. One of my teammates always make jokes. He always send me Ace Hood pictures. You know, and uh, he was like, hey, man, you need to call your brother, man. I know y'all need to get it together or whatever. So it's, it's, it's funny because everybody says that. You know, even some of the, the people that I be around, they be like, hey, though, you look just like that guy. Get a lot of Bugatti so, jokes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That might, that might be my brother from a different mother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, um, 
Now, tell me a little bit about more of yourself off the field. I mean, you, like you said, you don't seem to take yourself that seriously. You cut up a lot, but it's not in a sense where it's like you're looked at as a diva wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Like you just a little bit more. Oh, open. I just like to have fun. You know, I'm a fun person, man. Whatever I do, I like to have fun. You know, I go around. I'm a jokester. I like to joke around and stuff like that. But you know, I'm a fun-loving guy, man. I'm very family-oriented. You know, I like being around my family. You know, and um. Those are special things to me, you know, Christmas, you know, Thanksgiving, those holidays I always spend with them. And, um, you know, I like to kick it, man. I like to go party, have fun, you know, kick it with the homies. And, you know, if we get to a bowling alley, you know, I go out there and sting them, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, you know, other than that, man, you know, I just kind of lay back and uh, enjoying life, man, because it's real good now. I'm blessed, I can't lie, I'm blessed. Yeah, nah, I hear that. Now, right now is your downtime, you know what I mean? But in a couple of weeks, couple of months, it's gonna be right back to the grind of getting ready for the season now. Tell me what's your, some of your uh, personal goals as well as the obvious team goal of finally winning the Super Bowl. Um, my personal goal is just set myself up, you know, just to succeed. Every every year I try to find ways to, to get my game better, you know, and expand my game, you know, become a better player on, on the field, Especially mentally, more less more than physically, because I know physically I can play the game, I can go out there and play with anybody. But mentally, I just want to know every aspect of what's going on, what defense is trying to throw at me. You know, I want to be ready for anything they can throw to me before they even think about doing it. So that's my that's my that's my goal every year is just become mentally prepared and mentally focused and get myself mentally ready to go through that 16 you know season grind. Okay, last couple of questions. Uh, first thing I want to ask you is, um, you know, this video series is called Dedicated. So explain a little bit um, what the dedication means to you as a, as a, as a person. Dedication to me means winning. You know, if you're a winner, you find ways to win. And if you're dedicated, you're going to find ways to win. So when I think of the word dedication, it's all about winning. And if you dedicate yourself to winning, you're always going to find ways to win. You know, and... Um, you know, that's how I always been, you know, um, and always giving your all. You know, don't ever hold back, you know, just not even two cents, even if even if it's a relationship, you know, and if that's what you want and that's what you, you know, you want your life to become, no matter if it's with a girlfriend, with your mom, with your parents, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether it was with friends or whatever, whatever you're building, you dedicate yourself to that, you know, you give your all. Okay, all right. Last question. Um, when you hang up the cleats forever and you take off your helmet and your shoulder pads and you hang it up for good, what do you want fans of Atlanta and of football to remember about Roddy White? I want them to remember that I won a Super Bowl. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. Uh -huh. you, know, um, you know, all the accolades, you know, and, and the things that you go out there and perform at a high level year in, year out. You know, none of that, I mean, all that means something. But when you got a banner, you know, when you can hang something up in the ceiling, people gonna always remember that because they always come to stadiums and they always see that that team won the Super Bowl. You know, and that's what I want to be remembered as, you know, when I get done playing football. You know, a guy that went out there and won a Super Bowl for a city that's never had one. So that's what, that's what I want to be remembered as, as an Atlanta Falcon.